I decided to host the Oscars again because I like a challenge. And I don't like to get stuck in a rut doing the same thing every day. So every once in a while, I like to just challenge myself. And this year, I thought I would uh, challenge myself in front of a billion people and the gift bag. Well, there are a lot of memories that have stayed with me from hosting the first time. I guess the strongest memory is Clint Eastwood's breath. It was surprisingly minty. Oh, it's hard to pick a favorite Oscar host from the past. Um, God, there have been so many great ones. I thought Whoopi Goldberg did a great job. She always kept the show moving. Sinbad was hilarious. I thought Steve Harvey was great. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Showtime at the Apollo. But that gives me an idea. What if we bring the Sandman in for people that are doing their speeches for way too long? And he just sweeps, and then they have to go? Sandman, you remember him. Anybody? Nope. Craig and Neil are producing the show again this year, and I have two things to say about them. One, they have a vision of how to make the show smart and, and funny, and two, who are Craig and Neil? No, seriously. Seriously, um, <clears throat> they're great in bed, so I assume they're going to be great producers. A lot of people have been asking me what I'll be wearing. The question is, what will I not be wearing, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'll be wearing. Do you know what you're wearing on March 2nd? I don't think that far ahead. I don't really pay attention to reviews, but if I could wake up the next morning and read a headline, I guess I would want it to say something like, while hosting best Oscar telecast ever, Ellen DeGeneres wins Mega Millions jackpot. That would be great the next day to read that.